there is so much innovation potential and talent in Europe. I see it every day and much of it stimulated and uh, enabled by amazing innovative power of the internet. Sometimes those ideas succeed and break through into the big time European success stories like Angry Birds, Spotify or Skype. But I realize there are problems for European innovators. Problems that mean it's harder than it should be for bright ideas to prosper. Problems like not enough access to finance, to skills or to networks and expertise. As many of our rules are not suitable for the digital age. The pace of change is fast, often our regulations can't keep up. To take an example, our copyright directive dates back over 10 years, when the internet looked very different while the Berne Convention dates back to the 19th century, or sometimes we find taxation systems aren't adapted to entrepreneurial realities, like when it comes to taxing risk equity from business angels. And in other cases, rules are set nationally, nationally meaning you have to negotiate 27 separate legal systems to reach pan-European success. And that's highly unsuited to online services that should be borderless. Or sometimes there's problems like a lack of understanding and support for being an entrepreneur. We need our higher education systems to promote a positive entrepreneurial culture. We need a general culture of acceptance rather than friends and family telling you it's not a proper job. And we need to acknowledge that this can be for everyone, women as well as men. Too often, women are put off by a false image of what it is to be an entrepreneur. All those barriers matter for the European Commission. Why? Because if we want to get out of the crisis, we need to do things differently. And that means embracing and supporting innovation, not standing in its way. And in particular, we need jobs for the next generation. Over in the US, startups create 3 million jobs per year even during a recession. So we are committed to supporting Europe's innovators. That's something I care about very deeply. How can we do that? Well, we can't give you the ideas and we can't create the jobs. Only you can do that. But we can help create the right environment and in particular give you the R's, recognition, resources and the right rules. First, you should have a culture that recognizes you supports you and gives you more credit for the work you do. A culture where people see that this is a valid career, that it's okay to take risks and fail, and indeed that this kind of enterprise is essential to our future. From my position, I'm going to do what I can to make that change happen and give you the profile you deserve. Events like this are important. And second, you need more opportunities and resources to fuel your bright ideas. Whether it is the resource of open data, and we have made a legal proposal that could give you access to this great content for new apps, or networking resources, and we are planning a web entrepreneurs partnership as a platform to help you network, or access to human resources, and I'm calling on governments and industry to ensure we fill the ICT skills gap or financial resources. The Commission is actively supporting venture capital in the EU. I'm very interested to see that the Silicon Valley Bank has opened its first European branch in London, an encouraging sign, which I hope happens elsewhere in Europe too. Plus, we also provide financial support under the EU's proposed framework for research and innovation. Horizon 2020 will help also smaller businesses from concepting right up to commercialization. And third, you need us to provide the right rulebook, not a set of laws that puts barriers in your way, not one that gives you a complex legal headache, but one that makes it easy to spread your ID and benefit from critical mass in a market of 500 million people. Maybe level 83 of angry birds should be frustrating what shouldn't be so frustrating is selling that ID across Europe and not for other European bright IDs either. I'm determined to get this framework right so innovation can thrive in Europe. And then it's up to you to come up with the great new IDs and deliver them for Europe. Good luck.